Welcome back everyone. Uh, JR is buttoning up the uh, lath over here on the little stucco repair around the new plumbing repair that they had done inside the house. Uh, and it's coming along real well. He's got it all tie wired all the way around the edges. We talked about maybe going all the way to the two by fours and elected not to do it that way because then we would be making a mountain out of a molehill. Uh, the smaller repair, smaller the repair, the better it's gonna be. Uh, right now it's about, uh, I don't know, probably 93 degrees. It's a perfect temperature for what we're doing here. Uh, this is the material that we've got to do it. I have uh, this, uh, this is the uh, new recipe that we're using on these repairs. Um, this rapid set uh, mortar mix and this uh, sacrate uh, base coat scratch and brown stucco. You just add water to that. Um, and then we're also going to put some of this glue in for added strength and added adhesion. Okay, so that's concrete bonding adhesive. And then uh, what we're going to do is we're just going to use a little bit of this rapid set uh, to make the material go off a little quicker. It's going to give it more strength. But we, we, we've we elected not to use this rapid set straight anymore. We used to. We used to use this 100% and you still can. Um, problem is it's, it's expensive. Uh, this bag I think here is $17 for this little 55 pound bag. And this 80 pound bag of the uh, Sacrete Base Coat Scratch and Brown, $6.95. So uh, you get more distance when you add this to this or this to this will make it strong. It's gonna make this material here stronger, uh, but it's not gonna be crazy strong because if you ever try to cut through this in the future, it's like steel, you know, it just doesn't cut easy like this uh, regular material here that we, uh, this recipe here is what we always use on uh, larger projects, but only we buy it in bulk. We'll buy the cement, the plastic cement separate and then mix it with the plaster sand. And it's pretty much equivalent to this, but uh, we've had pretty good luck with this. Uh, you know, it comes pre-measured, so we don't have to worry about a mistake at the uh, mixer, you know, with too much or too little sand. Um, and it's a uh, pretty ideal material. I really like this. Anyway, so uh, I have got I had about uh, three inches of uh, water in the bottom of this bucket. And now I'm adding, I've added the uh, base coat already. So uh, I'm about to I'd add a little bit more water but I haven't put the rapid set in it yet. I'm gonna mix this water in here and get a little bit looser, then add a little bit more water and then add the rapid set and we'll be ready to go. Hopefully JR will be done over there and he'll have some paper down on the deck for me uh, when my mud is ready so that we can just move along. <laughs> and it looks like he's doing pretty good about that. So we're gonna check in with you in a few minutes and uh, show you our progress. Okay, this is a pretty doggone good repair that JR did for us. He has the wire over the new hybrid lath uh, overlapping the existing wire two inches on each side. And he also has tie wired the uh, existing wire in with the new high rib on at every six inches all the way around. And so uh, we're ready to rock and roll here. We're going to get this masked off and then uh, we're going to put uh, a real scratch coat on and then double it up real fast then we're going to float it to match the existing texture and we're going to be done and out of here and the homeowners are going to be happy i'm going to be happy jr is going to be happy and we're probably going to grab a beer around 3 30 today and it's getting close so we got to rock and roll all right see you guys in a bit okay guys here we go jr has got some really nice mud mixed up for me uh, this has the rapid set in it so it has a i think what a, about a 10 minute working time jr yeah i'd say yeah so if you're lucky Five to ten minutes. Yeah, five to ten minutes. Well, we have it mi mixed with the uh, base coat cement, so we might, we might be able to get 15 minutes out of it. Uh, I'm using a small trowel today. To, a big trowel is going to be too big for this. You might, you might see some guys try to do this with a big, long pool trowel. That's about that long. Mm -hmm. But uh, I, I prefer just to use this small trowel here. I'm going to mess up. I think I, it's just a little bit loose. The mud is just a little bit loose, but I like it like that because it's it's got the rapid set in it and it's gonna take up, you know, in no time. So you can see how it is right now. Look at that consistency. It's already started to go off a little bit since we since, since JR mixed it. So uh, we kinda, kinda gotta get it on the wall now, you know? I mean, we could mix it a little bit tighter to start out with. In fact, I have before, but what happens, is it starts to take up 
and go beyond the <coughs> spreadability of it. You know, so you want it a little bit loose when you start. Just a little bit. Don't overdo it with the water. Because you can make it so that it's too loose that it'll never take up. So be careful with the water. Kind of a learning curve when it comes to mixing this stuff. And like I said, this is currently what we're using. You know, I've done a lot of I've done a lot of experiments with uh, different kinds of materials. And uh, there's a lot of materials you can use out there. You don't have to use the combination of here. But uh, make sure it's close, you know, to what we got going on here. So I'm just scratching it in right now, and then I'm, this is gonna take up, and then I'll be able to double up, double back up on it. Right away, kind of right, right away. We get this under, underneath here, just kind of like that, and shoot it in there, like that. Boom. Boom. All right, so we're looking pretty good now. I'm gonna clean this up down here a little bit on the bottom and then uh, go ahead and put my second coat on. Okay, so uh, there's one way to make sure that it's ready to achieve the second coat. You just now look, look at the mud now, look at it. See, it's really starting to take up, starting to get kind of hard here, so. It's going off, and that's what we want it to do. You know, we want it to go off. Why? You know, we got family at home. You know, we, want get, we want to get back to our family. You know, and our, our refrigerator. See what's in our refrigerator. I know there's something in my refrigerator calling my name. Probably that ice water I have in there. It's doubling up, but you really have to be patient with it. Be patient with it. it this is a small patch, so it's it's hard, a little bit hard to uh, have patience, too much patience with something like this. Although you do have to discipline yourself. You have to discipline yourself when it comes to something like this, because this is going to want to fall out up here. When you guys do this for the first time, you're going to have a hard time getting it to stick at the top. The sides aren't so bad, but... The top, that's where it's going to have a hard time. And see how I got it right now? It's perfect. You know, just leave it there. Let it take up. If I try to do that, you know, try to clean this up, I, that could separate, and I don't want to do that. I don't want to spend my time farting around with the top of that. And I really don't have to. You know, so a little bit of respect for the mud goes a long ways. We're gonna let that take up maybe maybe five more minutes, and then we'll go ahead and float it. And we'll tune in with you then. Okay, everyone, uh, this has been um, about six minutes, right? Six, maybe five minutes this has been sitting here. And uh, I just got up to check it, and it's ready to, to go. It's ready to work. I love doing this right here. This kind of reminds me of doing Arca Stone, where you put the Arca Stone on and you let it sit for a couple hours and you come back and carve it. It's pretty cool, you know, but we're going to erase, erase all this car mark from blending with this texture as best we can. So, but, uh, okay, so it's good and it's drying fast and it's not going to get away from me. We're in the shade right now. Let me point that out. Though. We are in the shade. The shade ends right here. This is where the shade ends and the sun, full sun back there. So the sun kind of helps us in the morning uh, to help us dry fast. Um, and we're lucky enough not to have the sun beating down on us right now where we wouldn't have had it. We would not have been able to take a five minute break, you know, because we would have had to just stay right on this, thing, depending on how much rapid set we put in the mix. But uh, we put quite a bit in because uh, I didn't think I was going to make it with the uh, material I had in there. So we put a little bit more rapid set in it. Okay, now here comes the tricky part, guys. 
Okay, now that I've got that all done here, I'm gonna lay that down. Okay. I'm gonna lay it down like that. See how it's no sagging, no separation anywhere on the wall. It's gonna be a really nice patch, I can tell already. All right, now, uh, get my bucket of water here. Halfway decent sponge float. Okay, and I start with the edges and kind of pull that mud into the edges a little bit, just like that. Oh, it's so nice. Oh, look at that. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, I want to fill in all those air holes right there. Yes, yes, that glue that I have that we added before is going to help us, uh, it's going to help the material stick to this existing stucco. This existing stucco is acrylic finish, so it's not going to have that absorption like if it was just stucco that's never been painted. This right here will need to be painted once we're done. I'm getting a little bit of a line right there, but uh, I'm gonna try and fix that. Oh, oh, now look at my mud, look at this. Look, it's just chunks, look at that. See, it's been 10 minutes since we mixed, but uh, you know, I could probably find some uh, some loose stuff down here, loose enough that I can make a little patch kit right here. Make a little patch material and patch in these couple of lines. That we're putting over there. Okay. Now. See a couple of lines here I don't like. We're in line with them. Trying to close those up. The tops are okay, the top's not bad. I'm not gonna push so hard right there yet. I'm gonna make sure that that fills in that void. There's a void right there. I don't know why. I don't know why there was a void. Isn't that something how fast that mud went off, JR? Yeah. Man, it is like a rock. <laughs> But luckily, we still have some movement in the wall. It's still a little bit live, you know, so we can move the mud around a little bit. Okay, so just kind of make it blend to the existing stuff. Just try to make it look just like what you have around your edges. So I think we're looking pretty good here. What do you think, JR? I think it looks pretty good. It looks pretty good. You oh, see yeah. anything you don't like? Nope. I see one thing. It's just that I might not be able to get that cap off. So I'm gonna have to uh, carve around that cap right there to make sure it's not gonna be locked in by the stucco. Okay? Yeah, I might so have carved this right a little bit too. off. There's a little bit of something right there. So I wanna, if you look focused right there, you see that? It's just a little hole, oh, but uh, I'm gonna address it. Yeah, mm -hmm. looking good. I'm just gonna tell you, in about 10 minutes after I feed the dogs, they're gonna come roaring. No! <laughs> All right, okay. that's okay. They feed my favorite dogs. Uh, woo. All right, thank you, Dave. His name's Dave. Anybody with a name like Dave is gonna be a good person. All right, now that I fill that in. I just want to blend that a little bit better right there. Yes. Yes, I like it. I like it too much. Now I'm going to let that take up till it's almost 100% dry. And then I'll hit it again with this float and knock down some of these heavy pieces of sand that we see in here. 
Meanwhile, I'm going to take my little margin trowel, my little little margin trowel, my clean. This is a clean. <laughs> this is about as clean as it gets. So anyway, I got to carve out a little bit right there where that cap wants to come off right there. And I'm even going to give it a little bit more for the paint. Actually, another millimeter of clearance. Make sure that that cap is going to come off. A brand new. The new one we got here. It's got to be a new when we leave. It's got to be a new when we leave. You got that right, JR. Mm-hmm. All right. All right. We're going to shut it off. Put the paper on out, the, the existing wire, to that wire. Yep. So it over... 